Uh, before uh, my wife and I had kids, uh, before my wife and I had kids, um, we, there were a lot of things that we did together that after we had kids we said we'd get back to after uh, things calmed down. That was 20 years ago. Uh, when I told my kids what tonight's theme was, they laughed and laughed and laughed and <laughs> laughed. Uh, when, when, uh, when we had our first, oh, our son Cooper, uh, we had set up our parenting roles. She was supposed to be the brakes and I was supposed to be the gas. She was the one saying, uh, be careful, not so high, not so fast, and I was supposed to the one, be the one to teach them, you know, get dirty, play hard. But I'm not really a play hard kind of guy, I'm more of a books and movies kind of guy. But I took the job, so I'll do the job. And that's so why when uh, the local mall installed a rock climbing wall in the center court, I decided that my seven-year-old son, Cooper, was going to climb it. So every day we'd go over to the mall. I'd pay the 10 bucks and Coop would climb about halfway up and stop about there. And that's when I developed my five phases of fatherhood, when you're trying to get your kid to do something. Uh, enthusiasm, encouragement, inspiration, bribing, and shaming. <laughs> Enthusiasm. This is going to be great. You're going to love this. This is awesome. Encouragement. You got this. You got this nailed. You're there, buddy. Inspiration. Yeah, yeah, I know it's tough, but all, all the best things are hard to do. And I want you to just remember that Sherpa Tenzing Norgay climbed Mount Everest with all of Sir Edmund Hillary's shit on his back. <laughs> I want you to think about that when you're on the wall. <laughs> and then bribing. I'll tell you what, you climb that wall, I'll get you a water ice. All right, an ice cream cone. Okay, and an ice cream sundae. Okay, is there like an ice cream sundae that transforms into a fucking robot or something that you want? <laughs> and then shaming. Are you gonna climb this wall? Do I have to go get your little sister to show you how? You know how grumpy she is when I take her out of the crib. <laughs> now, yes, I know. In my defense, my father skipped all the other steps and went right to shaming. <laughs> um, when he taught me how to play catch, uh, whenever I dropped the ball, he'd say, nice catch, shit fingers. <laughs> So much so that that's how I thought the game was played, which made the first week of Little League very interesting. But anyway, when shaming didn't work, Coop goes, well, you climb it. And I said, all right, you climb that wall, I'll climb that wall. And wouldn't you know, little son of a bitch scampered right up that wall. He came down, he was so proud of himself, and I gotta tell you, it was a great dad moment. I, 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 you know, I was proud of him too, and you know, not only did he climb the wall, but he pulled one over on the old man. So, I couldn't be mad at him, but now I had to climb the fucking wall. And I'm looking at this thing, and it's four by eight sheets of plywood bolted to this rickety aluminum scaffold. And the kid who's spotting you is like 100 pounds soaking wet. And I know there's an elaborate pulley system up there, but if my physics is right, and I fall, and he holds onto that rope, I'm gonna be launching him like a catapult at a castle wall. But I gotta climb the wall. So I get up about, about three quarters of the way, and the wall starts to shake. Back and forth. Now, this was 40 pounds ago, and I was still pushing the weight limit of the wall. So I had to figure out that I had to keep my body close to the wall to keep it from falling down. 
which means I can't finish the climb because the last step of the climb is to reach out and hit this big red button that sets off all the bells and the lights and everything. And I'm not going to be able to climb the wall. So I look down, and it's really true what they say, never look down, <laughs> unless, unless you're like hoping to pick out where they're going to bury you, never look down. So I look down, and a, a small crowd has gathered in the center court <laughs> of the Plymouth Meeting Mall. And in the center of that crowd of my friends and neighbors is uh, my son, who's looking up at me with that dear God, don't let this old man embarrass me in the mall look on his face. And that's when it hit me. That if I was going to be a dad, if I was going to be a good dad in my own mind, I'm going to have to climb this wall. If you're going to be a dad, there's no, no backing out. There's no quitting. There's no, what did Yoda say? There's, there's no try. There is only do. And so I, I climbed the wall, hit the button, came back down. But I came back down a different guy than I went up. I came back down a guy who had a better sense of what it means to be a father. To, you know, to, uh, to know that being a dad is the single best thing I will ever do in my life. And that was a really important day for me. It was a pivotal day in my life as a father and as a man. Postscript, when I was preparing to do this story, I wanted to make sure I got my details right. So I asked my son about this pivotal day in my life as a man and as a father, this, this quintessential moment of my existence. I said, hey, Coop, remember when you climbed the wall at the, the rock wall at the Plymouth Meeting Mall? And he goes, I think so. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.